as I became associated with zoos and aquariums. I learned to appreciate snakes as individuals, as partners, as working partners in that career. And that's who I'm going to introduce you today, is some of my partners. This is a southern pine snake or a Florida pine snake. Because it's Snake Appreciation Day, I brought this snake because I appreciate that he is the only snake in uh, North America who can make his own hole. They'll root around with their noses in the dirt and they'll get it all soft and then they'll trap it between their head and their neck and crawl out backwards and drop it. They'll dig a hole. No feet, no legs, no claws, no toes, and they're digging a hole with their heads. I have another snake here that I can pull out and show you. He is called a Sinaloan milk snake. Sinaloan just means he's from the Sinaloan desert in our desert southwest. Um, and he is one of the milk snakes. There are also some king snakes that mimic a very dangerous snake that we find in our coastal areas here in the southeastern United States. That dangerous snake is a coral snake. There's a little rhyme that will help you remember the difference. So if you look at his colors, red and black are touching here. Red and black, friend of Jack. Red and black, friend of Julia, for that matter. Um, it just means that this is a harmless mimic of a coral snake. If this whitish or yellowish band was not here, but bordering the black and touching the red, that would be red and yellow kill a fellow, and that would be the coral snake. You would think that a creature with no legs would be limited in its ability to develop adaptations, but apparently not. Um, I've shown you a snake that can dig a hole. I've shown you a snake that uses its colors to tell a lie and protect itself from predators. The last snake I want to show you is a black rat snake. These are avid bird eaters. In addition to having these very wide, strong belly scales that he can kind of use like fingernails to hang on to tree bark, he has a big muscle that runs along the top of his back. Well, that big, strong muscle is the one that helps him to climb. In cross-section, he's sort of the shape of a loaf of bread, of sandwich bread. And that's one of the things that makes him such a good climber. And I think he's the handsomest snake in the building. Every day should be Snake Appreciation Day. And I, and I hasten to say that I respect those fears that people have. I program often with snakes, and I don't think I've ever done a program when there wasn't someone in my audience who was nervous. I respect other people's fears, but um, if intellectually we can appreciate snakes and allow them to continue providing their services to us, it would be a really good idea.